Hey everybody, Propboy1 here, and today, as you can see, Punctured Pete is sitting right in front of me for a new unboxing video. So I really was not expecting to get this guy, however, I have been selling a few of my smaller things in my collection to balance it out a little more, so I was just able to add this guy into my collection. I really wasn't expecting to get him, but he kept popping up on the site recently, so I was finally able to grab one. I really wanted to get him during the 2020 season, however, by the time I like really wanted to get him, he was sold out. So uh, yeah, that didn't work out. But uh, I finally got him, I've been really wanting him for quite a while now. But uh, yeah, as you can see, he's right in front of me. So before we start cracking open his box, we could take a look at his box first. So here's the front of the box, and as you can see up here, Spirit, Punctured Pete, constant rocking motion, makes a pain-stricken moaning sound, and stands three and a half feet tall. Uh, this might be an interesting unboxing video because I know he has a lot of parts and lots of stuff to slide out, so we'll see how this goes. But anyways, turning his box to the side, as you can see, Punctured Pete... I believe both sides are the same, constant rocking motion. We'll spin it around to make sure. I was wrong, this is different. It makes a pain-stricken moaning sound. That's different, however, I believe the pictures are the same. And here is, ooh, my reflection too. Uh, here's the back of the box though with name, story, and the diagram. So without further ado, let's start unboxing Punctured Pete. I'm not even gonna stop. I'm just gonna crack his box open. So as you can see, I'm already gonna have to slide stuff out. Uh, this looks like I'm gonna have to do the tipping technique. So what we have to do now is tip the box over onto its side. And we are gonna have to slide everything out of the box. So these are all of his pieces that come in that little slide out insert. That was everything in his box because everything is placed in uh, this whole slide out thing. So first thing I'm going to grab is one of his shoes. Uh, just basic plastic. Here are his legs. These are the foam for his legs to make him look like he's kneeling. There's the other one. Um, let's see what else. We have his shoulder plate. Actually, no, this is his, these are his knees. I lied. Here's his other shoe. Uh, what else do I see? I see the instructions are right here. Lots of pieces. Uh, finally, I have a prop with an adapter. Uh, for those that don't know, recently I've been getting a lot of props without adapters, so it's nice to finally have a prop that's included with one. What else? Got the shoulder plate. Um, we've got the hands with his stake. That looks really cool. My bird is screaming downstairs. I apologize if you can hear him. Um, we've got his clothes. Here's his undershirt with all the blood on it. Here is his coat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this looks like his coat. And then his uh, pants right here, all folded up nicely. So now we have boxes. I'm not sure exactly what's in this one. Maybe his module? I don't know. That seems too small for a 2020 Crazy Great module. We've got this. I'm guessing this is his module and stuff. This says Punctured Pete. And uh, this is his head. Let's take that out and slide his head out. I love the detail on his head. It looks so cool. So yeah, that head looks really cool. And uh, we have this little rod piece right here. Then we have uh, a few poles and the base, which are zip tied. I'm going to go ahead and take that stuff out. So like I just mentioned here are the poles. This little red fabric is supposed to be like right where he was impaled. So it's red. And you have his base, which is the last thing out of the box. I'm going to open these and then just talk about what else is in there. So in the small box, we have a little mechanism in here, which is interesting. Oh. And then in here, we have what I thought in the box that says Punctured Pete is the bag of parts and such, and then his uh, control box. And uh, that is everything that Punctured Pete comes with. So these are, ins are his instructions all laid out. Sorry if that was just lopsided, but here's 
this instructions all laid out and this is everything he comes with doesn't look too bad of a setup looks pretty simple and straightforward so i'm just going to go ahead and start setting up and give you guys updates so without further ado let's set him up all right everybody so we are halfway complete with setting up punctured pete there are 20 steps in his instructions on how to set him up and i just completed step number 10. his setup is very tedious and includes quite a bit of small parts I've only seen this guy twice in person, and both of those times he wasn't even turned on. So uh, it's really cool to see him again because I barely even got to enjoy him in, during the 2020 Halloween season. But his setup is pretty tedious, so make sure this is facing the front where that rod connects in. Lay the base down, put the pants on, snap in those two poles. You have to screw them in. Uh, then you attach the mechanism to that pole. Then you uh, attach the pole with the red fabric. Connect the shoulders and then screw in the head. And of course the shoulders have to screw in too because it's crazy create. So yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and finish his setup because it's pretty tedious. And I just kind of wanted to show what he looked like on the inside. So without further ado, here's Punctured Pete completely set up. All right, everybody, here he is. This is the Spirit Halloween 2020 version of Punctured Pete. Since I'm pretty sure, since we're all pretty sure he's going to be coming back for 2021. Anyways, his setup was very tedious. His clothes were a little tedious again. His legs were pretty confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's alright. Uh, he's a very cool looking prop. Stay tuned for his demo and review, which will be coming very soon. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you all so much for watching this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. So uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and here is his demo. Bye guys! Yeah. <laughs>